Okay, today we're going to talk about purple plugins. So this is going to be a super short shorty video. I suspect some people might be searching why are my plugins purple when they notice that their plugin is purple. And so if you're new here, hi, my name's Kato. I make videos all about Pro Tools and audio production, music production, uh, stuff like that. It's all audio engineering stuff. I am a full-time audio engineer and um, I do these videos kind of for fun on the side. So I come out with new videos every Wednesday. Please consider subscribing if you're new. So with that said, why is my plugin purple here? Well, if you notice on this plugin, right, if I hold command and then click, I am bypassing it and then activating it. If I open the plugin, I can also click the bypass button to do the same thing. And the purple is actually uh, similar to that. And basically what it means is that part of your plugin is bypassed, not the whole thing. So you'll notice this plugin is actually a little different because it's the channel strip plugin. So it has multiple different types of functions. So it can do stuff like EQ and compression, for example. So you might wonder, how can I get part of this plugin bypassed, right? If I click on bypass, you'll notice it goes blue, indicating that the whole plugin is now bypassed. And if I click it again, it's gonna go back to purple. So the question is, how did I get it that way, right? And basically there are different shortcuts within Pro Tools that you can use to bypass certain functions, right? So for example, I'm just gonna highlight all four of these tracks here. So these shortcuts I'm about to use are going to affect all four of these tracks because I have the nameplates highlighted for them. But these shortcuts, it's usually you hold shift and then you do a letter indicating what type of plugin function you want to affect. I have a plugin uh, shortcuts video that I'll put a card up for on the screen and it mentions this one among others, right? But basically what I did in this instance is I did shift and then C and what that does is it bypasses and activates depending on you know which one is which, um, it will bypass all of the Dynamics plugins on your track. So if I do shift C again, you'll notice that it it's now active and it activated both that compressor and the channel strip, the full channel strip. If I do shift C again, it's going to bypass all of the Dynamics plugins that are on these four tracks. So that's basically how I did it. I can also do shift C again to activate all those Dynamics plugins. And for example, I could do shift E and that does all the EQ plugins, EQ plugins, equalizers, right? So it went purple again, right? And why is that? There's an EQ within this plugin. So Basically, if your plugin's purple, it's because part of it is bypassed and maybe you accidentally hit a shortcut or maybe you did it in the past and you forgot, but um, that's basically what it is. It just means part of your plugin is bypassed. So I hope someone finds that helpful. Again, please check out my channel if you haven't. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff that we're supposed to say. I would appreciate all of it. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise, and my patrons get access to additional content. The big thing that I've been focusing on lately is the Discord server, and we've been all hanging out on there, nerding out about audio, sharing stuff with each other. And we do have a book club on that Discord server as well. So we've been reading books all about audio engineering and music production, and it's been a lot of fun. It's got me to tear through books that I would have procrastinated reading otherwise. So I've been really, really enjoying it. So feel free to check out that Patreon if you feel so inclined client. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. Okay, I got a, so much work to do for school. So um, bye.